break. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video, a very special announcement. I'm sure you guys have already seen the intro. Today I am finally revealing to you guys my extension of my collection with Revolution and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I was more nervous the first time than I am now. I kind of feel more nervous now. So if you guys follow me on my social media, you would have already seen the teasers slash sneak peeks. I've been teasing that I'm coming out with something for literally months on end now and the launch was actually meant to happen in March but obviously with the current climate that we're in I decided to postpone the launch because it just didn't feel right I wanted to be respectful of the situation and what was happening but I feel like now is more so the right time to be launching this and I hope you guys are excited and get to have something to look forward to as well so last year in June I came out with these little palettes and you guys absolutely loved them if you guys are not familiar we have the content and highlighter palette we have the ride or die palette which is literally a palette I've been using every single day alongside the contour palette and lastly we have the color burst palette which is like my alter ego very colorful very vibrant and out there and this time around I'm gonna be basically extending onto the already existing collection and then I thought to myself well what is missing we have the contour and highlight we have two eyeshadow palettes what else could I possibly create and I decided to come out with a blusher palette as well as a lip kit trio. I literally can't believe I'm finally showing you guys this. I've been working on this for over a year now and I'm just so excited. It's finally going to be out soon. So these two products are literally launching tomorrow morning at 9am on the Wednesday 22nd of April and I am so excited. So first up we have the blusher palette. I decided to call this the blush burst palette to kind of go in with the theme of the color burst palette. As you guys can see the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It is almost inspired by the contour and highlight palette it's got that same kind of vibe to it obviously the first part of the collection was very much like marble themed so I kind of wanted to keep in with that theme a little bit the packaging is absolutely beautiful it is matte it is so nice to the touch it's got that really nice peachy nude kind of vibe to it and it has got the same gold accents as all of the other previous palettes did I am currently wearing the palette which I will show you guys how it performs on my face later on in the video but this is it Literally the packaging is beautiful. I am so in love with this. I love pastel baby pink so freaking much. So I really wanted the packaging to be pink and I'm just obsessed with it. It looks so slick. On the front of the palette we have this window so you guys can see all of the shades really clearly and it then has the same Roxy font on the front as all the other palettes and this is actually my handwriting. And then as we open the palette this is what this beauty looks like. So first things first I want to mention that some of the pans have the embossing of the letter R from my logo inside the pans. Uh, I couldn't actually do it on all of them because some of the formulas were a little bit too creamy so it wouldn't actually indent or like press properly. So the blusher palette consists of eight shades as you guys can see and I'm currently wearing them on my face. I'm so excited by this palette because not only can you use this for your face but you could always use it as an eyeshadow palette too. As you guys can see some of the shades on this half in particular are quite deep. I really wanted the palette to be like all inclusive. I wanted everyone to be able to use this no matter what skin tone you may be. And you guys may also remember that from my contour and highlighter palette. I really wanted this to also be very inclusive of a load of different skin tones. So it was very important to me to have a lot of different shades in this and I feel like I did a pretty good job selecting the shades. So this side right here is of course more tailored towards people with a fairer skin tone. We then have the mid tones and it does go into the deeper skin tones as well on the end. I personally love the formula of all of them. They are just so creamy and they apply like a literal dream. They're very buildable as well. It was very important to me to have a blusher that isn't too much. You know sometimes a blush can be really pigmented and when you apply it, you end up looking like a clown. And then you have to like go in and buff it out and use like powders and whatnot to kind of tone it down. I really didn't want that with this palette. I really wanted these shades to be very natural looking, really easy to apply for anyone of any sort of like skill level when it comes to makeup. But of course, if you do want it to be way more pigmented, 
pigmented, you can build it up and you can also build it up to use as eyeshadows. Personally, I don't actually end up reaching for these shades on this side as much because obviously they are too dark for me. I can get away with using them, especially if I use a light hand, but I do prefer to use them as eyeshadows instead. And then we also have another addition to the family. We have the Ride or Die Lip Kit Trio. Of course, I called this the Ride or Die Lip Kit Trio after the iconic Ride or Die palette. Again, the packaging is exactly the same as the blusher palette. I wanted them to kind of be like a set almost, and I'm just obsessed. I love the fact that you have the window so you can see what shades are inside. Inside, we have the three different lipsticks, and I am just obsessed with the packaging. So for the lip kits, I went for the classic gold lid sort of packaging that Revolution does actually have for some of their other lipsticks. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing. I love gold, and it also goes with the Ride or Die palette perfectly. So the lip kits are actually three liquid lipsticks. Two of them are a matte formula, and one of them is a cream formula. The lighter shade we have is this one. This is in the shade New York, and it's actually the cream formula. I absolutely love this lipstick. The reason why I call this one New York is because when I went to New York a couple of years ago, it was like one of my first time going to the US, and I was wearing a lipstick just like this for like the whole of my trip. I really, really loved it, and that is why I called it after it, because it just reminds me of New York. The next lipstick we have is this one right here. This is kind of like the mid one. It is a very nice taupe very neutral kind of color. It's not too warm, it's not too cool toned. This is actually in the shade London and it is a matte liquid lipstick. I call this one London because I wear lipsticks this color pretty much every single day, especially when I go to meetings in London and that is why I called it London. And lastly, we have this one. This is the shade I'm wearing right now. It's a very gorgeous pink shade. This one is actually another matte formula and I call this one Tokyo because it's pink and I don't know, I just think it's a really cute color and it makes me think of Tokyo. So these lipsticks and the blush palette I've been wearing for months on end now and you guys didn't even know. The really annoying thing is that every video I was wearing one of these lipsticks and you guys would always ask me what lipstick I'm wearing and it was always one of these and I couldn't tell you. So if you guys have ever wondered about what lipstick I was wearing in any video in the last six months, it was one of these. I chose these colors very, very wisely. I obviously wanted something that could work for a lot of different skin tones again and I feel like I did manage to achieve that with these. I absolutely love the applicator. It is kind of like a plastic dofa. It's very flat and very like pointy. So it is very precise. You can really get in the corners and the cupid's bow. Just so you guys know, all three of the lipsticks do actually have a different scent, which I think is really nice. They're not too scented though, because I know some people don't like that, but they do have a very pleasant, subtle smell when you're applying it. So I think that's so cool. Now the reason why I created two matte formulas and one cream is because I wanted the cream to be almost like a topper that you can use on top of these two. Now obviously you can use the cream formula on its own as well, but I just think it works really well on top of one of these. I'm really excited to say that both of these products are actually cruelty free and vegan, which I think is amazing. And they will be available tomorrow to purchase at 9am on the revolutionbeauty.com website, along with some other retailers such as Beauty Bay, ASOS, and a few other ones, which I'll link down below. I'm honestly just so excited that I've finally been able to show you guys and finally reveal to you guys the extension of my collection. I'm sure you guys are keen to see the swatches and see the shades up close, so let's do that now. I am gonna start off with the blusher palette first. As you guys can see, this time I did not name any of the shades. I really didn't wanna take up any extra space. I wanted the pans to be really nice and big, and I felt like it wasn't necessary to name a blush shade. So the first shade we have is this one right here. Now, this one is a very nice, neutral, kind of peachy, everyday kind of blush. This one in particular is perfect for people with a more fair skin tone. It has a slight shimmer to it, but not too much. Even though the shade is quite peachy, it does kind of have like a pinky undertone to it, which I really like. The next shade down is this one right here. This one looks very similar in the pan, but when you actually apply it on your cheek, it looks completely different. Like I said, this one has more of a pinky undertone, whereas this one has more of an orangey, peachy kind of undertone. The next shade is this one. This one is again, very similar in the pan to this one. However, it is slightly darker on the cheek. My absolute favorite blush of the palette is probably the pink one. I absolutely love how this looks on the cheek. It just makes your cheek look so healthy. The next shade along is this one right here. This is a very vibrant coral kind of shade and I feel like this looks beautiful 
or on anyone with a deeper skin tone. I can kind of get away with wearing this shade. It is absolutely beautiful, but I do have to wear it with a light hand. We then have another deeper kind of shade. This one is perfect for anyone with a mid to deep skin tone. As you guys can see, this does have a slight shimmer to it, but again, not too much. It's basically like the perfect brown kind of blush, but with a slight hint of rosiness to it. The next shade we have is this one on the end. It's basically like a coral slash orangey kind of shade. This one definitely has a warmer kind of undertone. So if you are on the fair side, I probably wouldn't use this as a blush, but it does work amazing as an eyeshadow. And lastly, we have the deepest of the blushes. I absolutely love how this looks on deeper skin tones. Personally, this one is definitely way too dark for me, but I do love to use this one as an eyeshadow as well. So that is the blusher palette. I am actually in love with it. You guys probably know I personally love a bit of blush. I just feel like it really transforms your face. It makes your skin just look so much more healthier. It just really adds that nice natural flush of color. And then we also have the Ride or Die Lip Kit Trio. You guys have always been saying, please come out with lipsticks. And I finally have, and I'm so excited. So the first lipstick is in the shade New York. This is the lightest one, and it's also in the cream formula. I absolutely love the undertone of this. It is very like neutral. It's not too warm, not too cool. We then have the shade London. This is basically just a taupe neutral lipstick in a nutshell. This is basically the lipstick shade that I always search for but can never find. So I basically just created what I've always wanted in a lipstick. And lastly, we have another matte formula. This is the shade Tokyo. This is one of those my lips but better kind of colors in a matte formula and I absolutely love it. I wear this all the time. I love the matte formulas because the color is so opaque but it's not too like dry on the lips or anything. I must admit these are kiss proof. I have tested it myself. I mean, they're not my ride or die lip kit trio for no reason, right? So now that I've given you guys the lowdown of the new products, I thought I would show you guys this look and how I achieved it using the whole collection. So let's jump into it. So for today's look, I'm not just gonna use one blusher because I really wanna show you guys how more than one looks on my face. So I'm gonna do a bit of layering. I'm gonna do a little bit of a gradient. And this is actually a thing that I don't see too many people talk about, but blush contouring is actually a thing. So today I'm gonna be taking a slightly softer blush kind of towards this side of the palette. I'm gonna be applying that right to the cheek, but then I'm gonna be using a slightly darker shade and actually just placing that right into the contours of my cheek. So I think for this look, I'm gonna take the pink one. This is actually one of my favorites. I think it's a really nice everyday kind of blush and it works on most skin tones. So I'm just gonna pat that right to the center kind of onto the apple of my cheek. So as you guys can see, the pigment is definitely there. It is there, honey, but it's not like too much. Like, you know, you don't want your blush to be too visible because then it doesn't look too natural. And I feel like I've definitely achieved that with this blush palette. I think it's very wearable for everyone. So now that we have that really natural kind of pop of color, I'm gonna take a slightly darker shade and I'm actually gonna go for this one right on the end of the palette. And with this, we're essentially doing the same thing as you would with a contour or bronzer. You want it to go kind of from like the light to shade all the way to the darkest. If you're a person that doesn't like to use too much contour or bronzers, I feel like this is a really nice way to still get that chiseled effect, but with using blusher. I'm also gonna apply a tiny bit of that blusher onto my nose because I really like that all over flushed kind of effect. And now lastly, I'm gonna take this really nice neutral peach shade and I'm just going to basically kind of use that to blend all of the blushes together. And this is a really nice blush on its own as well. It's very natural and perfect for people with a paler skin tone, but for me, I like to kind of just use it to blend everything together and kind of tone everything down. So that is my finished blusher. I am just obsessed with that really nice flushed, healthy kind of look to my face. And even though I've just kind of contoured with my blush, I am still gonna go in with an actual contour. You guys know me. So of course, I'm gonna be taking my Roxy X Revolution highlighter and contour palette. This palette, I've gotta say, is one of my most used products. Ever since it launched, I have not stopped using this. I mean, look at it, it is absolutely battered up and this is actually my second palette since it's launched. As you guys can see, I've definitely got some favorites in this palette, especially this contour shade right here. So I'm gonna take a brand new one so you guys don't have to look at this crusty dusty thing anymore. Ta-da! <laughs> There's literally nothing better than a fresh new palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here and just kind of go into the hollows of my cheek just to give a tiny bit more dimension. I really like that carved out cheekbone look. And to finish off the skin, of 
of course, I'm gonna be using highlighter. So I'm gonna be taking this one from the same palette. This is like the perfect everyday highlighter. I'm sorry, but that highlighter just hits right every time. All right, so the base is now finished. Now, naturally the next step of my makeup would usually be my eyes, but because I haven't launched an eye palette, I'm gonna be using the lip kit next. I feel like you guys probably would just skip straight through the eyes anyway. So I'm just gonna give you guys what you actually wanna see first. So like I said, in the lip kit, you get three different lipsticks of three different neutral slash nude colors. So with the shade Tokyo, I'm just gonna take this and apply it all over my lips as this is the matte formula. So I want it to be really long lasting for this look. I may be a little bit biased, but I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely love the formula of these lipsticks and what we've managed to achieve with them because honestly, when you apply it, it is like the perfect consistency. It's really easy to work with and really easy to like spread, but you don't need a lot at all. And then just to kind of add a little bit of something something on the top, I like to take the shade New York, which is the lightest nude. This is the one in the cream formula and I just kind of like to use it as like a little highlight right in the center of the lip for almost like an ombre slash gradient effect. So I kind of just apply that right to the center of my lip. As you guys can see instantly, it kind of brings my lip forward and then I just kind of pat it in with my finger. As you guys can see, the ombre isn't too visible. It's very subtle and natural looking. And I just feel like it's really made my lip look more 3D. So as you guys can see, this is what both of the products look like on my face. I've been using both of these products for literally months on end now. And I've just been waiting for the day they've launched so you guys can try them too. I'm so happy with how they have turned out. And I hope you guys love them as much as I do. Since I haven't launched anything for my eyes this time, I'm gonna be using one of my first collections. I think I'm actually gonna use the Color Burst palette this time because I use this palette every single day and this one I mean it's a little bit more colorful I still love it so much but there's not always an occasion to wear color but like I said to celebrate this launch as everything is kind of like pink themed I'm gonna go for a pink look of course so the first shade I'm gonna be taking is the shade peaches from this palette I'm just gonna pop that right in the crease I absolutely love the shade I sometimes just use the shade on its own, that's how nice it is. I'm then gonna take the shade Fetch and kind of just blend that through the crease and more into the outer corner. I'm then also gonna take the shade Fetch also on my lower lash line as well to kind of tie the whole look together. I'm then just taking the shade Timmy to kind of use as a slight highlight right in the center of my lid. And that is literally the finished eye look using the Color Burst palette. I'm actually really, really happy with how it turned out. I usually would add a slight shimmer to it, but I quite like the matte look. I'm just gonna pop on some eyelashes and eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back and my makeup is finally finished. I am obsessed with how this look turned out. I've gotta say, I may be a little bit biased, but I am just obsessed with how my blush is looking. I feel like my skin looks really nice and healthy and the lipstick is just a perfect match with this eyeshadow. So here are my babies. I'm so excited. These are finally in the world. They're out there. You guys can get your hands on them. Think of these two products as like an extension of my already existing collection with Revolution. That's basically what I wanted with these two products. Obviously, these are only available online at the moment with the current climate. So I will have all the list of the retailers where you guys can pick these products up. Of course, the main website is therevolutionbeauty.com and they do ship worldwide. But you can, of course, also get them on ASOS, Beauty Bay and a couple of other retailers. So I will have all of that info down below. So to wrap this video up I just want to quickly say a massive thank you to the team at Revolution and Adam the owner of Revolution. I feel so blessed that I was able to work with a brand that I truly truly love and I have loved for so many years now. They've really let me have the absolute creative control over anything I do with them which I think is such an amazing and important thing when working with a brand as an influencer. And lastly I of course want to thank you guys. If you guys were not here, if you guys didn't subscribe, you didn't watch my videos, these products would not not be in existence like they actually wouldn't exist and I've got to say I am really proud of myself for creating something that I absolutely love and you guys love as well I'm just so like taken back by this whole experience obviously we have the three palettes I created with revolution last year and you guys love them so much I absolutely love seeing you guys tag me in posts of makeup that you've created with these and now with these two products launching I really hope you guys will be able to get your hands on them and incorporate the blush burst palette and the ride or die lip kit trio into your routine so that is it for this video I honestly feel like I could talk for hours about this launch and how excited I am for it and how excited I am for the future things that I'm planning with Revolution but obviously this video will just be like hours long so I'm gonna finish it off here I hope you guys love the products I hope you guys are having an awesome day and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.